Wells Carrier is often called the father of modern air conditioning. In 1902, he was working at a lithography and printing business in Brooklyn, New York. They were having issues with their presses because of the high humidity. Willis Carrier invented modern air conditioning to take care of the humidity issues that they were seeing at the presses. This picture on the right is one of the actual worksheets that Willis Carrier was working on when he was developing the psychrometric chart. Here we see the eight properties of air shown on the psych chart and the changes that can occur. Heating, cooling, humidification, dehumidification, and evaporation. By understanding and controlling the temperature, the relative humidity, and the circulation of air, we can control the comfort level for inhabitants of the conditioned space. ASHRAE defines air conditioning as the process of treating air so as to control simultaneously its temperature, humidity, cleanliness, and distribution to meet the requirements of the conditioned space. One of the things that we can see on the psych chart is the enthalpy change between sensible and latent as the refrigerant goes through either, either the evaporator coil or the condenser coil. This is called the triangle of sensible, latent, and total heat. We take our sensible heat and our latent heat, and this gives us our total enthalpy change. We also can see the moisture content that changes when we are removing or adding heat. This plays a big part in the comfort level of the individual who is in this home. By plotting various points on the psych chart, we can tell the property of entering and leaving air. In this plot, we are looking at the entering air properties, which are the black lines. We have 80 degrees, which is our dry bulb temperature. We have a 63 degree 0.5 wet bulb temperature. At number three, we have 40% relative humidity. At number four, we have 53.6 degrees of dew point. At five, we have 62 grains of moisture. At number six, we have 13.78 specific volume of the air. And at number seven, we have 28.94 enthalpy of BTUs per pound of air. On the other side of leaving air properties, which are the red lines, we have a 60 degree dry bulb temperature shown on line A. We have a 53.5 wet bulb temperature shown on line B. We have 66% relative humidity on line C. We have 48.7 degree dew point, which is line D. We have 51 grains of moisture on line E. And we have 13.25 specific density at line F and a 22.3 enthalpy in BTUs on line G. So by comparing our numbers that we had on the previous chart, we can see that our relative humidity has increased from 40% to 66%. Our dew point decreased from 53.6 to 48.7. Our grains of moisture went from 62 to 51 grains, so that was 11 grains per pound that we lost with the latent heat process. And our specific volume decreased, and our enthalpy went from 28.94 BTUs per pound to 22.3 BTUs per pound. So all of this shows us what happened when we rejected heat through this coil. The psychrometric chart is invaluable to the serviceman. It is the only tool for determining exactly what is happening to the air conditioning system. This is a quotation out of the air properties and measurement booklet that is available from Carrier. But let's be honest here. Do I expect all of you to rush out and get a psych chart and start plotting numbers on every unit you work on? No, of course not. 
In 40 plus years in this industry, the only time I have ever plotted a psych chart has been in training. Should all of you understand the processes of a psych chart? Yes, you should. As ASHRAE defined air conditioning, you as a tech must understand the relationship of air to temperature, moisture, and pressure to really provide your customers with the comfort levels they expect. Just as you should be trained in the refrigeration process, you should also be trained in the properties of air and their relationship to each other. Go to arefco.com for more videos, like, subscribe, and check back every week for new videos.